Guys, this is Christian with Loki Colors here, and today we're gonna put in a tier list guitars I could beat in a fight. Let's make this clear: this is not an actual physical fight because I mean, you see this? I'm 260. I'm 260, bro. So if it's a street fight, there's no way they're gonna beat me. Go ahead, go ahead and power scale all of these guitar YouTubers because I can beat them easily, no problem. Hands tied behind my back. It is no big deal. So this is gonna be a guitar battle. There's gonna be some drums in the back, maybe our bass player playing some bass, and we're gonna shred all over that rhythm section, and we're gonna see who's the best soloist, who's the best guitar player. That's the premise of this video. Let's go over the tiers of this video. First tier is gonna be the Shadow Realm tier. I hear the Shadow Realm's lovely this time of year. Let's find out if it's true. This means there is no chance for you to win. I am sending you straight to the Shadow Realm. Just give me your best cards right now. Or in this case, give me your rarest guitar right now. Next tier. This tier is going to be the Smoke tier. Not like Smoke in Mortal Kombat. Not like Smoke the Fire. But I'm going to smoke you so hard there is practically no chance of you winning. However, there is a small chance, a little, a tiny little chance that I'm not 260 that day and you could beat me. Next tier up, it's even matched here. So you and I were evenly matched. We're rivals, we're Naruto, we're Sasuke, we're Goku, we're Vegeta, we're fighting on and on, we keep on going together. That's the even matched tier, so it's a coin toss who could win. Next tier is the lucky shot tier. It's like, you're Jiren and I'm Goku. There is no way that I'm going to beat you. However, you know, I could unlock Ultra Instinct and get my lucky shot and I could win. You never know. And then final tier is RIP tier. I'm smoked. I'm going to the Shadow Realm. I'm dead. There is no chance of me even trying. Might as well give up. Give you my rarest card right now because I am dead. All right, those are the tiers. Let's get started. Okay, before we get to the list of guitars, we gotta know who they're fighting against, which is yours truly. So this is me. Yeah, that's me. Strengths. I'm 260. I have a cool ass fuck guitar. And I got the best thighs in the guitar YouTube game. Now what's the weaknesses of mine? Shredding, I can't shred. I got a soft spot for guitar girls. And bass. So that's me. Clearly 260. First up is Uncle Judy. I saw all the comments saying, you ripped up Uncle Judy, you ripped up Uncle Judy. Wrong, Uncle Judy ripped off me. Okay, that's his first strength. He's a time traveler. Obviously, he went to the future, saw my video, went back in the past and ripped off my fucking idea. So that's his first strength, he's a time traveler. Next strength, he's kind of jacked. I saw that OnlyFans video of his. You know, he got the bicep thing going on. And he has a boob guitar. I mean, who wouldn't want a boob guitar? Man, that is so sick. You can, you know, if you can tell me where to get one, Uncle Judy, I would really appreciate that. Uh, weaknesses. He copied me. He's not 260. And he's Uncle Judy. He's not Daddy Judy. If he was Daddy Judy, oh man, immediate RIP tier. But in this case, he is not RIP tier, so he's gonna go in the even match tier. There we go, Uncle Judy, even match tier. Next up, we have the most requested guitarist in the last video of all the comments. It is not the who, it is the do. Exactly, the do. Now who is this guy? We don't fucking know, that's his first strength. He's faceless. Second strength. He knows every song. You go on Omegle, you watch his videos, they're like, play this song, and he plays it. 
This guy apparently knows every song known to mankind. And Final Strength, he's a monster guitar player. He's a straight up shredder. I have not seen anyone play as good as this guy before. Just on Miko on chat, just shredding. If you ask me to shred on commands, that is not going to happen. This guy is a monster player. Weaknesses. He's on Twitch. Come on, we only know soy boys go on Twitch. He plays video games. Come on, bro. Quit the video games, hit the gym, start practicing guitar, and get better. No, I can play those video games, bro. And the last weakness. Are you even a guitar player, bro? Yes, you got mad skills, but half your videos are either Twitch games or guitar. Pick one, bro, pick one. But hey, he's got more subs than me, so maybe he has it right. So how would I beat this guy in a guitar battle? Well, let's think of it this way. He knows every song known to mankind. He's faceless, so he could be any guitarist, man. He could, he could be Henson, he could be John Fushante for all we know. He could be multiple guitar players on one channel. So based off that and a guitar battle, I think if we were to walk on stage together, it'd probably be a hundred guitar players. And there's no way that I can be a hundred guitar players by myself. So this is going into immediate RIP tier right here. Next up, another heavily requested guitar player is Marcin Tybura. Oh wait, sorry, wrong Marcin. Marcin the guitar player, or is it Marcin? Who knows? I think he's from Spain. I think he's from Spain. I think I, I know he speaks Spanish, right? So he sounds like he's playing Spanish music. <clears throat> so what's the straights of Marcin? He slaps and he taps and he does all the clickety clackety things. He plays guitar like it's a drum set. He plays an acoustic guitar, it's not a strength. No other guitar player I know is famous for playing acoustic guitar besides this guy, Marcin. Another strength is he's Spanish and we all know if you're Spanish, your flamenco guitar points automatically go up by 69%. So you're already a guitar legend if you are part Spanish. Weaknesses. I only know this guy from one song, which is Classical Dragon. And that song, you know, it's good, but also it has Tim in it. So it's like you're being carried by somebody else, right? And he only has one guitar. Not like he only has one guitar, but all of his songs, they're just on... It's just one guitar. Why limit yourself to guitar? Play some, have some bass, have some drums, you know, have some, some vocals. Who knows? Just, you know, have a band. And last weakness, his guitar playing is kind of annoying. Researching this video, I have watched a lot of these guys on YouTube and I was listening to Marcy in the background. I'm like, man, this shit it gets annoying after like three songs. It, it all sounds kind of the same. But doom, doom, doom. It's a lot of tapping, a lot of slapping. You know, it, it gets annoying to a point. So those are his weaknesses. So how would I beat Marcin in a guitar battle? Well, let me put this in the tier first. This is easy Shadow Realm tier for me. And I'll tell you why it's easy Shadow Realm tier for me. This guy, he has played with other guitarists, but they're always just guitar. To my knowledge, anyway, they're always just guitar. So if we're playing with the drummer, if we're playing with the bass player, some backing tracks and we're jamming out together, I feel like this guy wouldn't know where to fit in to the backing track because he's, he's used to being his own backing track. If you play by yourself, you'll never know how to play with others. It's like playing basketball. If you're always shooting the free throw, you're never gonna know how to play with the team. I'm not sure that made any fucking sense, but that is why he goes in the Shadow Realm tier because I'm gonna play with my band, we're gonna shred it up, and he's gonna be so confused. He's gonna like, turn off the drums, turn off everything. I don't wanna go solo. No, 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 no. That's not the rules of this game. You lose by disqualification. Shadow Realm tier for Marcin. Next guitar player. We have Manuel Gardner, Manuel Gardner? Fernandez, MGF, as you guys commented. I was like, who the hell is MGF? Do you mean MGK? So I was Googling MGF, I couldn't find it. And then, and then I kind of realized, oh, it's this guy. All right, strengths. Out, out of everyone on YouTube, I think this is the ultimate guitar douche. All right, playing guitar already makes you a douchebag by default. But looking at this guy, you know, with the hair, right? He's, his videos, he's always like playing with his feet up like this, with the old cool lighting and the, the ambience. Man, stop being such a fucking douchebag, bro. Just, 
you know, put the fries in the back, okay? That's not the strength of his, it is the hair. And his last strength is his song sounds the hardest out of everything I know. Like even Polythia stuff sounds pretty easy compared to this guy stuff. It's always like fast tapping, weird time signature. It's, it's, it sounds hard as fuck. Let's, let's just be honest here. Weaknesses, like I said, just put the fries in the back, bro. His playing, it gives me a freaking headache because I don't really understand what's going on. Maybe I'm stupid, but if it gives me a headache, I'm pretty sure it gives a lot of people else a fucking headache. So just put, in the, put, put the fries in the bag, bro. Put them in the back. Put them in the back. And weakness number two, it gives me a headache. Oh, listen to this guy. I'm trying to listen to his music. I can't focus on it. It's just like, oh, I, I don't understand what's going on. Put the fries in the bag. And the last weakness is his posture. Bro, like, you can't be playing videos with your feet in the air like this all the time and, like, leaning back and whatever. Hey, that can't be good for you, man. Sit up straight, right? And you have poor posture when you get older. So how would I beat MGF? Manuel, Garne G Manuel Gardner? Manuel Gardner Fernandez. Well, like I said before, this guy, his playing sounds hard as fuck but it's so hard to understand. So if we're in a guitar battle and the audience is playing, the audience is watching us like, ooh, let's go, let's go, blah, 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 you're so amazing, yeah, right? When he plays, they're not gonna understand what he's playing. So I would counter him by just playing something simple, something understandable, something that's easy to listen to. And that's really, you know, what music's about. He's listening. Is, 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 do you think music's all about he's listening? If, if not, comment below. But my point is, if it's too hard to understand, it's too hard to listen to, and it's too hard to enjoy. So this guy, I am putting MGF in the smoked tier. Because he's getting smoked by me, but you never know, you know, being a huge douche, you might have a lot of fangirls, and they might smoke me. So he's getting in the smoked tier. Next guitarist, another Famous guy that people requested. His name is Nicky or Nick Nocturnal. Nocturnal because he lives at night. Who knows why he's called Nick Nocturnal. What are some of the strengths of this guy? His biggest strength is that he's a crab, right? He's always in the crab pose. He's always gentle. I see him in those crab costumes. He's a freaking crab. And crabs are hard AF, <laughs> all right? Strengths, how to in 30 seconds. If I want to learn how to play like a player, I just listen to his videos. And boom, I can play like Slipknot, I can play like any kind of metal band from watching this guy right here. Strengths, he's a metal guy. This guy sounds so good playing metal. I mean, I can listen to him and not even know it's him versus another band, right? This guy is a monster, like I said before, monster guitar player, really good at chugging, really good at the gent, right? His weaknesses, grass types. We all know that crabs are water types. So he's weak to grass types. Really simple there. Another weakness of his is vertical movement. We all know crabs can only go side to side. They can't go front and back. So he can't really move vertically. I'm sorry, it must, it must suck to always turn to your side in order to move, right? Final weakness is this guy is playing clean. I've never heard this guy play clean once before. So maybe he can't play clean. Maybe he can't play a, a simple G chord. Nobody knows, except for him. He probably can, but to my knowledge, he freaking can't. So how would I beat Nick Nocturnal in a guitar battle? Well, to quote Tenacious D, you cannot beat the metal. The metal will always win. The metal will always control you. You cannot take over the metal. So for him, he's going in lucky shot tier, AKA I have a lucky shot. I can probably not, cannot beat this guy no matter how hard I try, However, maybe if I stand in front of him, he can't attack me because he can only move side to side. So he's going in lucky shot tier. Next guitar player. This was requested by a commenter. His name is Dean Lamb. So what are some strengths of Dean Lamb? Well, we all know, watching his videos, every video he says, I play for a technical death metal band called Archfire. So one, he's in a band. That's a good strength to make. All these guitarists don't play in bands. So boom, instant strength. Strength number two, he's married, he has a wife. And we all know that because the most popular videos involve him and his wife. 
So good strength there. Final strength, mustache. He has a sick Canadian style mustache and I am jealous. This is the most I can ever grow with my little Asian genetics. So I am jealous of his mustache. Weaknesses, he's bald. Man, you can't have flowing guitar hair if you're bald. I'm sorry, bro. He has a wife. Now myself being married as well, having a wife is a strength and a weakness. It depends on the wife, but I think for him it's gonna be a weakness. And another weakness is I can't comprehend his playing. A lot like MGF, I heard some of Archfire stuff really fast. The vocals were like, <laughs> sounds like a kitchen sink, you know, this, <laughs> you know, oh my throat's getting sore. I don't understand his playing. It's, it's, it's too hard for me to understand. And so how would I beat Dean Lamb? We all know he's very technical. We all know he plays in death metal bands. And we all know he has a sick mustache. So how would I beat a guy like that? I think this all depends on the scenario here, right? Some power scalers say in open fields, fighting each other. Well, I'm saying the scenario is, you know, there's a, there's a band behind us, we're playing, there's a, there's a cheering crowd. Now, if the crowd is really into technical death metal, we all know he plays technical death metal and art spire, I will probably lose. However, if the crowd's full of normies, I'm probably gonna win. So this really depends on the crowd of the show we're gonna have here. And so for technical death metal guitarist Dean Lamb, I'm gonna put him in even match tier. And that's where I'm putting Mr. Dean Lamb. Next guitarist, really famous, really popular, like in the 2019s, 2020s, early 2020s, the meme lord himself, K. Mac. This guy's from Ireland. This guy makes memes. This guy makes lots of mistakes with delay. This guy is all around a really, really, really good player, but I know him for his memes and his eight string jet songs. So what are some strengths? Oh, he's a meme lord. We all saw his videos. Number two, he has an Irish accent. Forgive me if you're not Irish, K-Mag, but it sounds Irish to me. And we all know the most famous Irish guy, Conor McGregor. And what's he known for? His trash talk. Therefore, you must have it too. And last strength of him is Jet. I hear him play Green Day with the Jet. I love that Jet Green Day mix, bro. It is freaking sick. Weaknesses. He's MIA. He, he was posting a lot. Then he disappeared. He just... He just drifted off into the darkness or he rode off to the sunset. Who knows what happened to him? I know he uploaded recently, but he disappeared in my eyes, right? Come back, King Mac. Weakness number two is delay. We all see him make a mistake on delay. That shit lasts forever. So if he makes one mistake in this battle, he's fucked. And weakness number three is recording. Monster player, once he records, ooh, that monster status goes down. You're not a monster player anymore, buddy. So how would I beat King Mac? Real simple, K-Mac is going to beat himself. All I have to do is not mess up, and then K-Mac will eventually mess up. To make it even easier for me, I'm going to give him a delay pedal. <laughs> and boom, instant win for me. Actually, I'll give him a delay pedal, and I'll record him at the same time. So K-Mac, you're going to go in the smoke tier, because this requires me to give you things, and if I don't have that chance, you might, you know, you might, you might beat me. So, smoke tier. Next guitar player. Ooh, this is my guitar player. This is a bass player. He is recommended a lot by y'all's comments in the last video. His name is Charles Bertude. Char Charles, Charles Berthold? Charles Berth? We'll call him Charles. Now, what are Charles' strengths? He's a tapping lord. I always tap like on all of his videos. Tap, 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 tap. Trick number two, he has illegal tuners. Those little, I don't even know what those are called, but those lever tuners like you're driving a car. Tuners, those are illegal, you can't use that. Strike number three, I've noticed this a lot, but he's a monster guitar player. Oh, monster bass player. He is really freaking good at the bass. And he actually inspired me, along with someone else, to play lots of bass. Weaknesses. He plays the bass, bro. This is like this is a this is a guitar battle. This isn't a bass battle. 
Weakness number three, number two, he has no pick. It's not epic if you do not play with a pick. Weakness number four, he has only four strings. How are you supposed to shred only four strings on your bass, bro? I, you can just get more strings on the guitar and shred. You ain't got no high notes. No one's gonna hear you, they're gonna feel you, but they won't hear you. So, how would I beat Charles Berthoud in a fight? The answer is, there is no way to beat this guy. This guy is probably the best bass player in the world right now. You know, arguable, but I think he's the best in my opinion. So this guy, he is going in the R.I.P. tier. He's gonna beat me with his bass, back and forth and slap me all across the freaking arena. So Charles Berthoud, you are going in the R.I.P. tier. Next guitar player. And that's a guitar player, Tim Henson. Man, this guy was really requested, and for good reason, because his strengths. He is a freaking elf. Look at him, he doesn't look human. He looks like an elf from like Lord of the Rings. Maybe he's like the dark elf, I don't know. He looks like an elf, okay? Strength number two, he has the Gen Z army. Everyone from Gen Z backs this guy. So if you're born basically in the year 97 to like, I don't know, 2010, you are back in this guy. This, this, is, this is the guitar player. This is your favorite guitar player. And another weakness, I bought his guitar. I bought his fucking, I bought the ripoff of his guitar. I bought the cheaper version of his guitar, that nylon string. It's freaking awesome. And I'll make a review video about that soon, but I bought his fucking guitar. So I'm part of the Gen Z army, no. Weaknesses, he's an elf. You know, some elves are really strong, some elves are really weak, but I'm not sure. Maybe you're like one of those weak kinds of elves here. Weakness number two, is he a robot? Is he an elf robot? Who knows? On the interviews, he's talking about, oh, I, I put this into the, the computer. What does he call it? The arpeggiator, you know, and then he got playing God from a keyboard that he, get, he did by himself. No, he got it from something else. So maybe he speaks robot. So maybe he's part robot, and maybe I can just splash some water on him, and boom, he's, he's, he's fried. Weakness number three, he's too good. You know, this guy, has, this guy has fuck you energy. You know, when you're trying to be cool, or you're trying to play guitar, and then someone shows up. Here, here's the story. When I was younger, this happened to me a lot. I would go play guitar, and there's a lot of guys there, uh, like, you know, like other band gigs. And all I really knew was the Chili Peppers. I, that was all my skill level. Chili Peppers, I knew Can't Stop. I knew all the Chili Peppers songs. And then some guy was like, hey, cool guitar, can I play it? I'm like, yeah, sure, man, play it. And they would play the hardest freaking shit that they probably know just to be a douchebag. And that's the fuck you energy. That's Tim Henson. He gets the fuck you energy. It's like, man, don't play it. You're gonna make me look bad. Go fuck yourself. That is the too good energy that Tim Henson has that makes it a weakness. Because why do I say that? Why do I say he's too good? Because when you play on stage, if you're too freaking good, they'll just be like, man, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, he's too good. And that's why I'm putting Tim Henson in the lucky shot tier. Yes, he has fuck you energy, but he also has the Gen Z army. So those things balance out. Right? That's not going to be a factor. So what's going to matter is just actually playing together and seeing who's the better player. Now, I can probably beat Tim Henson if I do not play like Tim Henson. He's going to play robotic, emotionless music. I got to play emotional music. But emotional music really depends on how you're feeling. So maybe, you know, I hit a PR bench. Yeah, epic song, epic stuff. Maybe... You know, the newest anime episode was sad, and I was really sad. Oh, sucky guitar solo. So he's going in lucky shot tier. Last but not least, we have the OG, the guy that I admired for probably too long, my favorite YouTuber, Davey504. This guy is a freaking Italian legend. He inspired me to play the bass. He inspired me to learn how to slap and tap. He showed me Victor Wooten. He showed me Polyphia. He showed me all the music I listen to today, pretty much. Everything I know about music, 
links to Davey 504, and he's only three years older than me. So what are some strengths of Davey 504? Strength number one, he slapped. <laughs> Strength number two, he has a huge pee pee. Strength number three, he's obviously 69 feet tall. Weaknesses, violin chair. Weaknesses, headphones. Who knows on those headphones? Weakness number three is breaking the pasta. So how would I beat Davey 504 in a guitar bass battle? Well, luckily, we already saw that with him versus the violin guys. And honestly, I thought he lost. His battle skills, he may be formidable on the screen, but he's not formidable on the stage. So when I, do it, when I play with him, first of all, I make sure I have no hostages. There's no guitar chance for him to steal. <laughs> Number two, I'm gonna take off this guy's headphones. There must be a secret there, we're taking that off. And number three, my back pocket, I'm gonna whip out some pasta, I'm gonna snap that shit in front of him. Oh yes, and that's how I'm gonna beat Davey 504. So he is going in the Shadow Realm tier. And those are my tier lists, guys. If you want a part three, comment below. Disagree, comment below. If you want me to go, you know, if you, if you want me to do an actual physical fight with the guitar players, comment below and we'll do that as well. Peace.